Today's New York Times reports the U.S. government is working to build a conspiracy case against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. The focus, whether Assange worked with the Army intelligence analysts suspected of leaking government documents. Meanwhile, a media frenzy is swarming around another bail hearing for Assange this morning. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer is at the courthouse in London. She joins us now live. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. Yes, this is an appeal hearing. It's in the Royal Courts of Justice, which you can probably see behind me. And there's a huge crowd of reporters. You wouldn't believe how what a, what a circus, in effect, this has become. Uh, the hearing's underway. Assange is inside wearing a blue business suit, apparently looking very relaxed. But we don't know how it's going because the judge has just said he's not going to allow anyone to, uh, to tweet from the courtroom. As soon as the prison van carrying Assange pulled up at court, there was a media frenzy. Innocent or guilty, Julian Assange is now a celebrity, shielded from photographers. But one lucky shot this morning does show him flashing a V for victory. So far, though, it's only a partial victory, at best. Assange and his lawyers thought they'd won a bail hearing on Tuesday, but the decision was immediately appealed, and Assange had to go back to prison to wait. If he's granted bail today, the conditions are tough. He'll have to wear an electronic monitoring tag, report to police every day, and put up just over $300,000. This morning, his lawyer said the cash does appear to have come in. We believe that uh, we will have the money today. Uh, it appears to be in the banking system. That We certainly have pledges from uh, the people who, who stood behind him on previous occasions. Assange now has various high-profile backers, including Michael Moore, who announced on his website that he would post some of that bail. Now, if Assange does get bailed today, and we'll know very shortly, he'll be spending the holiday season at a home of a friend out in the countryside uh, beyond London, and he'll have to be back in court on the 11th of January. Hetty? All right, CBS's Elizabeth Palmer in London. Thank you, Elizabeth.